We're going to be jumping into another red vs. green ER edition with NVIDIA. Uh, they're going to be reporting after hours today on May 26. Uh, we have an implied move about 30, so current price uh, plus 30, minus 30. You're looking at about a range of about uh, 600 to 660, which is roughly all-time highs or to the 50-day. Um, IV on this isn't janked up as much as it used to be, so uh, we do have to kind of play a little bit smarter. We can't really get the double implied move wide and still make $100 off of that. So it's going to be a little tighter than normal, but let's roll into it. Another th side of things, we have the technical side of things, which is a trend break for about a week now. Um, after about a two-month uh, consolidation period, on a little dive down to the 200-day. Um, so if we do get that great, you know, out of the water ER, um, you could see some continuation up to the upside, or it could absolutely mean nothing and everything's already priced in. That's the beauty of this, so that's why we stick to just um, the implied move and just probabilities. Um, so let's jump into it. So right now we have the red team versus green team. So red team is the implied move, uh, meaning that it's not gonna exceed below 600. It's not gonna exceed above 660 all time highs. So what you would want to do is structure around that. So you're going to be selling the 50 day, which is you're going to be selling the 575 put. All right, and then you're going to be selling the 660 call. And now here's where it comes into your risk factor of how much you want to risk because how much do you trust the implied move that it was priced accordingly. So we're going to keep it simple, 500 at risk, all right, so five strikes wide. Uh, so you're going to be capping it with this 570 put and you're also going to be capping it to the upside off of a 665 call. So that leaves you about $90 credit on that so that if as long as Friday rolls around and it's within that red box, you're going to be collecting $90 dollars off that while only risking um was it 410 410 off of that so that's how you're going to be playing to that implied move which is also the 50 day and also a huge buying point for a lot of these major companies and an all-time highs is maybe all-time highs is a little bit of resistance as people don't think the move is justified or whatever doesn't matter uh, that's the implied move. So then we're going to jump into the green side of things, which is breaking the implied move. That's the green boxes on here. Now you're going to be playing to both directions. Um, so in order to play to both directions, it leaves you kind of two options here. You have a strangle and you have a straddle, which means you think that movement's going to be made out in certain direct, or either both directions. And modifying those things, the strangle and the straddle, um, gives you a bunch of different options that you can do. Most typically ones that we run as well as iron condors iron flies um we're just going to flip the reds play here all right so we're going to be then looking at buying the 580 put we're also going to be buying the 655 call so we're a little bit within that implied move and capping it right at that implied move as well to make sure that if we do make it into the uh, green boxes we're going to be hitting max right away um and makes it kind of fair in terms of one team isn't favored over the other so you're going to be capping it off in the same way with the five dollar or five strike wide five hundred dollars um, at a 575 put and then a 660 call that gives you the five strike wide um, so it gives you the chance to make about four seven or excuse me 375 off this if it does get into the green boxes um, but you know with these types of plays you know you're breaking out the implied move probability is going to go down a down significantly after you go outside the implied move um, and you start dipping into those lower deltas lower movement um, with all these you do have to wait for the play to pan out unfortunately okay so um, tomorrow you're not going to get 90% of your play um, unless this utterly stalls um, exactly where it's at you're not going to be making that much off of the implied move so choose wisely when it comes to these teams all right all right, so that's going to be the two plays that we have. Um, we have the Iron Condor, which is going to be the implied move that we're going to be tackling. And then we have another Iron Condor, which is a bite open debit on that, which is going to say it's going to move in either direction. It's just going to move. It's just going to haul ass and it's going to do that. So um, those are the two plays. Um, when you start factoring in a bias, a bullish bearish bias based off of whatever you know about news, underlying company, whatever, um, that is when you can start to dive into playing to those and also factoring in the implied move volatility everything else um, with your verticals your condors um, your flies um, you know adding a time component to these things um, lengthening the strikes to kind of give you extra um, area of preference whatever it may be um, maybe unbalancing one side to kind of really make sure that you make it in a stalling manner and also to your bias um, there's just so many different ways that you can do this but I don't want to overwhelm people and make these complicated things um, I get enough DMs and enough questions 
questions about how to set up an iron condor, how to set up these butterflies. Um, let's just keep it simple and then once everybody gets the hang of these things, we'll start evolving it more, adding those different components, adding the different biases, um, and just continue to evolve them as they go. And you know, as the position develops tomorrow, you know, evolve the position. Um, take a certain side off that's not going to hit or take a side that may hit and kind of keep the profit from one side. There's just so many different ways you can do this and I'm hoping that that's what you can take away from these. It's just learning a, a different side of things rather than um, my trendy line say that this is going to pull it up here and we're going to win. Okay, uh, let's leave it there and um, good luck to both teams.